Hello, Blenheads. My name is Nahuel Rich and I'm speaking from Argentina. It's been a long time since I did a, a tutorial or an introduction video in English. I might not in tongue in Spanish, so excuse me if I use some wrong words. Uh, today we are going to do a review over the Blender Google Summer of Code 2011, ex especially the carrot branch and especially on the Dynamic Paint project led by Mika Hanalainen please send me an, an audio file with the pronunciation right if someone's listened to me and um, what is this um, covered branch or the night paint about? it's about painting surfaces, uh, meshes with other meshes uh, Mika has been working in, on this uh, a long time ago I did a simple video about how to use it and it has changed a lot, but it has changed a lot for good. Uh, this video, we here we are going to see how to use it, how to see how simple it is, and I'm going I'm not going to go really really deep on this, but just some glance at it to have an idea about how to use it and what it can do at this moment. Probably at the end of the Google Summer of Code, this will change, and probably it will change once it gets into the Blender trunk. But for now, today is, let me see, today I think is July 9th, 2011, and this is what we got now. In this scene, we have a simple plane, well, not simple, it's subdivided, and we have an sphere. This is like this plane is going to be our camera. Let me take out. Uh, okay, there you go. And the grid. And the sphere is a simple UV sphere created, nothing else. As you can see, I had split this window because one thing I'm going to do to take this an easy way is select the sphere and pin this as brush. I already named the sphere. And select this and pin this as canvas. So I'm going to, as you can see, I also been playing with this. Okay. How uh, how do we prepare our meshes to work uh, with the dynamic paint? Well, as you can see, this is easy. In our property panels, we are going to physics button, and here we click on dynamic paint. And let's do the same for sphere. Maybe. I want to have this, but I don't want to have this. I have. I want to see which object I want. I have selected. Okay. Now I have selected the sphere, our brush, and click on the neck paint as a brush. Okay, and then add brush. This adds and um, brush properties to the sphere into the neck paint workflow. Uh, here we have uh, painting properties and wave properties that we are going to see in a minute in a minute. Now select the plane, <coughs> our canvas, and add canvas property. As you can see, if you had seen uh, dynamic paint before, uh, this has changed a bit. Now we have these stat properties, as you can see, we are going to see this in a minute also, and it also has a very important uh, feature that is this vertex here. Image sequence, it's or uh, it was also it is. It's a way, a really good way to use it, uh, where the paint it's baked into an image sequence. Now you can bake or use the vertex color or vertex group in order to use the dynamic paint features. But let's going to do I for me six minutes left, so. That's going to do this as quick as I can and as clear as I can. With this uh, plane set it as dynamic paint canvas and the sphere set at uh, dynamic paint rush, now the only thing to do is uh, set the time, whatever it was, and <coughs> just play it. Now I have a push play button, as you can see here, the frame rate, the, it's playing. And just take our sphere and then we go. I'm painting real time. Okay, let's this keeps running. 
and let's play with it with some properties. So you have proximity. Let's add more proximity. Maybe I want to have a color ramp and change colors a bit. As you can see, this is real time. This is one of the most interesting features. Okay. And this is painting. Okay, as, as simple as that. Now I'm going to add another layer. Plus, first select the canvas. I, I can have the split uh, property window here, but it doesn't work if you don't select the option. Um, I'm not sure, probably because it's under, under, under development. <clears throat> Let's call our first layer paint, just to have. And the second one, wave. Um, maybe this place. It has several features in here. Now to, get, to change the property, now I am painting, as you can see here. I want to do something else, and this something else at the canvas uh, row is going to be, I don't know, this place as classic um, dynamic paint did, does, do, whatever. And as you can see, I'm now displacing fuck, fuck with different fuck, uh, different depth, the mesh. This is uh, I, I I'm not really sure how this is stored. That probably is uh, a gray under vertex color. I'm not sure yet about that. Uh, if we use um, a texture as uh, image sequence, this would be a gray, this would be a white or a black and so on, but this I guess is stored at vertex color ok, now let's start to see something else something else pretty interesting ah, look at that I didn't realize, but it. I don't need to start to push play in order to paint I can, it works or it doesn't, it doesn't it works on the first frame. Well, interesting. Okay, let's see other 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 features such as uh, wait. Oh wait. Oh. If you, I want to 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 lead to right down here or at, at the left side of the video. I don't know where the comments are, but I want to to paint to ah. To paste the link to me as well, where he has more examples about this, and there's one interesting example where he. I show you. You paint, as I show you here, the weight, and you can use this as vertex vertex weight group in order to do effect with particle systems such as hair growing and disappearing and you will probably see better when you click and to open here at the left and load it ok and now we're going to see another feature that is waves this is a really interesting one but what this does is generates some wave plane effects over the canvas Really, really cool. As you can see, at the same time, it's painting because painting is in a layer up of it. So you can have several layers of painting, several layers of wave. I'm not sure how many or how this affected is this affected, but it seems to be this way. I don't know. Uh, as you can see, you have here one, two, three, four, five. Uh, samples of sphere, this can be uh, improved if you have higher substep. Well, okay, now this is finishing, only 30 seconds left. This is the Mika's web page, and I'm going to leave all links to these resources under or at the comment box. I uh, hope to this be useful in a quick way and I hope to see this in the future I try to do something more extensive. Thanks for watching and happy blending.